Welcome back everybody, welcome back. Today we are making a comical um, firework as Bonfire Night is literally just a few days away. Um, so we're going to start with by making a cylinder. Um, let's just make it a bit longer. I'm going to control, I'm going to edit and get in control R and move that up to about there. I'm just going to select all these vertices, scale to zero. And we're going to create another loop cut to about there. We're going to select the top ones and scale out like so. Kind of. Okay, so there we go. Let's just select those top ones there and just pull them out a bit like so. What's going on there? Okay, we don't want that one selected. Let's just pull that up there like so. And then let's just give this a couple of loop cuts there and this center one. We're going to go into proportional editing and scale. Let's make that a bit bigger like that kind of thing. Uh, and then just at the bottom here, let's just select those and control B to put a bit of a bevel on it and a few segments like that. Okay, I'm happy, happy bunny with that. Let's just W and shade smooth. Let's go into normals and auto smooth. I'm just going to switch on uh, cavity. There we go. Now what we need is a stick. Shift A with a cube. Boom. Scale that down to sort of stick size. And just uh, scale on the z oh, <laughs> scale on the Z. However long you want the stick for. That looks tickety boo. Um, let's put a fuse in there, shall we? Um, let's just edit that and select number three. Um, we're just going to inset and then extrude on the Z. Kind of like that. So it's like the bottom of the firework. And then what we're going to do now is put in a curve, a, a bezier curve. Let's just bring that down, rotate it. Okay, <laughs> let's rotate that. So that's going to be the fuse in the center there. And then what we need to do is just up that so it looks like a proper fuse. Let's rotate it around a bit. There we go. I'm happy with that. And then what we're going to do now is we need a little bit of ground. Let's just do a mesh and we're going to do a plane. Why not? Scale that up. Um, all this here we need to rotate on the X. So it's going to be firing up in the air like that and let's just give it a little bit of color let's just make this bright red stick make it look a browny color floor make it green like grass now let's just go into the floor control R Chuck in a few, and maybe we got there 15. Control R and 15. Okay, and then we want to control um, G. Oh, the screencast isn't on. Uh -huh. um, and then yeah, control G, assign to new group. 
let's go into group and just call it grass. We're now going to add in and then and then a particle. So I'm just going to chuck in there. We want hair. We want advanced. Um, let's go back into object mode and then cut that hair down to a manageable size. Just go into what are we going into? Brownie and 0.3, just give it a little bit of a kink there. Let's go in to children, just to give it a little bit more grass. Let's just chuck that down a little bit more. Um, let's go in to hair shape, I just want to bring that down to 0 0.5, maybe, <laughs> that looks a-okay, let's just up the, um, let's up that to 2,000, okay, um, now with the let's come out of edit mode and let's go into the fuse and now what I'm gonna do is shift A and add a EV sphere. Let's just make that a bit smaller on the end there. Okay, and then we're gonna add an, an emitter. And let's see what's going on there. Okay, we need to bring it on over and up to where our fuse is. Okay, I'm just going to scale that down and bring it in the center there. Okay. And then let's, let's just see where we are. So, okay, so there's quite a few. Let's just say 250. Um, yeah, that looks kind of okay. Let's add in Shift A, our, what our particle's going to be. So, let's just scale that down. Um, we'll give it a an emitter, part, uh, an emitter, uh, emitter, <laughs> emission. So it glows in the dark. Um, about five. Let's change it to about a ready colour. Um, and then in here, we need to change the. Uh, where are you? Object. Here we go. And then the object is. Oh, there we go. Oh, 001. Selected the wrong flipping one, didn't I? Okay, so select the correct sphere that you are using. Um, let's just scale that down to a nice kind of size. And obviously, if you're happy, let's just go into their mission, maybe seven. We're going to turn down the night sky so it's a bit darker. But you also want a light for like the moon, if you like. Let's just bring it up over here change the 2000 and then give it like a little blue tinge so it's in the night time and there's your little firework of course if you want to give it a glow you can if you go into Eevee you can put on bloom but if you want to do it in cycles 
Um, what you need to do is just go into camera mode, go into view, camera lock, and then just set your shot up to however you want it to be. However you want to like, however you like it. Um, hit F12. Okay, here we are. Right, what we need to do is go into back into the blender mode and then go into comp compositing. Click select use nodes. So we've got this shift A, go into output and viewer, and then we can put that here in there. Um, and then what we need to do is hit shift A and filter glare okay and then we just pop it in between so you can see we've got these different kinds of glow going on so this is streaks this is ghost this is star and what we need is fog glow so it gives it a nice little nice little glow of a random oh that's our model we can just if you're right you can select that and then just hide it but obviously we've done our render and that's how you get that and then you can just it will show it on the image here once we've changed or once we've added the output to the input so there we've got our glow our little glow there anyway so that's it that's today's video um hit the so hit the like button if you like the video don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell we'll see you on the next video ta-da for now